Before we get started, you have to have a laser jet printer. This will not work with an inkjet because the ink has a different chemical reaction to the medium transfer. Okay, let's get started. Fill the sink up with some hot soapy water and I like to use Dawn. It seems to cut through the grease the best and uh, scrub up that mason jar. Get all the grease and grime off of it and get it uh, sparkly clean. Make sure you dry it off really well with a tea towel because you don't want any damp spots when you're ready to paint. Okay, now we're all ready to paint. I like to make my own chalk paint. I have a really good recipe that I've used throughout the years that I find works really well for me. Um, I'm going to make a video of that recipe next week uh, so you can know what I use to make it adhere the best. Now you can only use chalk paint. You can't use just a water-based latex paint. It will not let the transfer adhere properly. So chalk paint is your only option to have the best success with this project. Just put on a real light coat. You don't have to put it on really thick and make sure you just cover all the spaces. I found this little brush on Amazon and it works perfect for this type of project. I'll put the link below in the description. All ready for the second coat. You have to make sure that you let the first coat really dry. I usually leave mine overnight and then uh, first thing in the morning I'll put the second coat on. And just the same, you don't have to put it on really thick, just a nice coat just to cover anything where you can see through to the glass, get up around the lid so it's all sealed properly and uh, like I said before I really love this little brush it works really well for this type of a project I use PicMonkey for my graphics it's a paid subscription but I use it almost every day and it's well worth it to make great graphics after I design my graphics in PicMonkey, I take it over to my Word program and I size it to the size that I want it for my project. Uh, and you also have to make sure that when you make the graphic, you flip it so it's the opposite way. So when you put it on your project, it's going you're going to be able to read it. If you don't flip it, it's going to be backwards. Okay, and I'm just going to size it up to the size that I need it for the jar. And uh, it's all set. Okay, now we're all ready to add the graphic. I like to have a clean working area. You don't want any little bits of paper or any little fuzzies that get stuck in your transfer when you're putting it on your jar. And now we're ready to apply it with the medium transfer. Now this is the exact same as Maj Posh. This brand is called Art Deco. I will put the link below in the description. It's a little bit cheaper and I buy it at Michael's and I found that it works just as well. And you just wanna apply an even coat all through the whole thing. Make sure you get all the lettering all covered on the transfer and it's all set. Okay, now I'm ready to uh, put it on the jar. You want to make sure that you have it centered so it's not crooked. Make sure you, you take your time when you're applying it onto the jar. and then just pat it down firmly. Sometimes you'll get little air bubbles in it. You want to just make sure that you rub all the air bubbles so you have it adhered really well to the chalk paint. There, and it's all set. This is the product I use. It's made by DecoArt and it's called DecoPage. Make sure you buy the matte finish and you can get it on Amazon or either at Michael's. Okay, 
It's been 24 hours and now we're ready to remove the paper off the graphic. So I just use a little dish with a little bit of water in it and a little small rag. You want to squeeze most of the water out of it because you just want to dampen this. You don't want to have it really soaking wet. If it's soaking wet, it's going to take the graphic right off and you're going to be back right to step zero. So just gently just rub it around until you can kind of see the lettering show through the paper. That's when you know you have it wet enough. Okay, next step. Now you have to just gently take your fingers and just rub at the paper, just gently. Don't be aggressive. If you're aggressive, you'll also rub off the, the ink from underneath. So just take your time. It takes a little bit of patience and just rub away at it. I find that I have to re-wet it a little bit and then keep rubbing at it but this time I didn't really need to it seems to be coming off really well Last step and we're ready to seal. I use a polyacrylic matte finish. I don't like a real glossy finish on these jars. Uh, I'll put a link below in the description of what I used. And just put a light coat over the whole jar. That will seal the graphic all in. take the glass lid out. I might save that for another project and I'm just going to screw this one on and you're ready to display.